What I'm thinking for today is do some kneeling fungal, okay. get the hands ready, mm -hmm. and then we'll do some like bouncy ball stuff. So you got to give ground okay. and come get. Okay. So you'd make some vertical decisions mm -hmm. and then we'll do the machine with the split. Yeah. So you make some lateral decision. Okay. Does that sound good? Look at me from the side. Weight's in the butt. Now to get forward, look at that move. Right, look at my toes lift up because my weight has to go in the opposite direction, right? Now my toes are down. Look how easy that forward move, right? To the same exact spot. If I want to reach to the, the bat line, way different. So when I hit you a long hop backhand, you, you're clanking them more than when I hit you a long hop forehand, right? We only should move forward on hops that require shortening, right? Long hop backhand. Yeah. yeah. Same thing. There it is. Yes. Hi. Yep. 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 You're so much better making that move, don't you think? Up. So one of the reasons I think is that your base is so much wider when we do standing wide base than when you do the kneeling. So one adjustment we can make in the future is get wider with the knees. Good, okay. Now we're gonna go a little bit of movement, right? But you're gonna use your game glove. So we're gonna use these. They're five ounces, so they'll feel the same in your glove, they're the right size, but they're bouncier. What you're gonna do is you're gonna decide whether to give ground or come, right? So I could hit this one right here. Right, a little harder than that. I want you to feel the short hop. And I could hit this one and you gotta give. Nice, right? Short up. When you're moving backwards, what do you think your first step is? What do you think your move is to go backwards? Look on this side, it opens up well. On this side, it's like I almost go forward and then backwards. Forward to back is good. Okay. Forward to back allows me to create energy that way. Okay. When I just swing the gate, I don't really have that force, right, to go back, right? If you look at the angle of my shin, right, when I step forward, now my shin's pointing where I want to go. When I just stay here and I open, I don't have that as much. You get what I'm saying? So boom, boom. So I, I actually want that swivel to give yourself a, something to bounce off of and work backwards. Go down. Hi. All right, that's what third base is all about, right? Working this line, creating space, closing space, creating space, closing space. Nice. How's that feel? Better because I'm going to get a lot like deeper yeah. than like sort of here. The more space you create for yourself, the more time you add to the equation. Nice. Go it up. All right, now last couple reps of this drill, let's transition to throw. One stands me up, one has me going full speed. Nice. Out of way. The hardest thing about both of these plays, these vertical third base plays, is their tempo changes. It's like the DJ changes the song halfway through your dance, right? You go fast, to slow, and you gotta go fast to slow, right? So you have to switch. Does that make sense? You have to show the control to switch. Yeah. Fast, now slow to get ready, yes. Now we go fast to control yourself 
Yes. Good. All right. How are your feet feeling? We'll do a little bit of misdirection, the double machine, and it's going to split you right left. So now we've worked activating our hands and we've worked vertically. Now we're going to go east west. All right. Okay. Time your pre pitch with Cabby entering the ball. And we want to be landing right after the ball comes out of the machine. Good. I'm going to watch you. I want to hear that go foom while your feet are still in the air, right? Because we want all the information before we land. Nice. Make that first move clean, a continuous move from down to go. All we do is change direction. We leave that engine running. Nice. Pretty, man. That's a good move. What do you got right there? It's a early, I think. Yes. And then you have to, what happens is our body knows I'm early and then I feel myself and I kind of go again and then I'm screwed. Early is the ultimate late, okay. right? Because then you get stuck and you either have to make a weird move or you get started late, okay. right? There it is. Nice. Really good timing. How's that, how's that feel? Okay. When you have all the information where you're still in the air, you can delay the landing of the side that you're going to go and go. If you land early, now I got to go one, two, three to go, right? Go. You were an above average thrower. Yeah. Right? The only time I'm going to like recruit my other hand to be there is if I'm worried about getting rid of it yeah. quick, right? You don't have to worry about getting rid of it quick. Catch the ball and the guy's out. Right? Catch the ball and the guy is out. For the last two, three years of your career, right? You catch the ball, the guy's out. Yeah. You don't throw that ball away. It's a better position to throw regardless. Like when I go down with two, it's like I have to fight to get like back over here instead of it's just. Yes, when I flow like this, right? It's, I mean, Versus this. Yeah. Look how far. I have to, to, fight to, get over there. to reach with my right hand outside of my left foot turns my shoulders the wrong way. Yeah. Right? So I go like this. And then I have to do like this versus like this. My shoulders are more neutral. Yep. And I can go. Yes. Nice. Couple more and then we're done. More adjustable too. Like I like sort of jumped on me, but I can if I'm with two, it's like I don't have any adjustability. No shot. You have to be precise with your feet. Having that one hand gives you an out, right? Your yeah. feet are gonna guesstimate where that last hop is, and then when you arrive with one hand, you have a solution. Yeah. When good work. Two, it's just... Yeah. You good with today's workout? That was great. That's kind of my thought process for like a custom early work program yeah. for you, because like it. it preps you for first and first, third. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. This gets my feet moving more than anything I do over there, anyways. Yes. Yeah. Because our feet are so different when we know we have to throw versus when we don't have to throw. Hundred percent. Like when I'm at first, it's like I don't really. I mean, double plays, yeah, but that's just. You know, most of the time it's just like catching the ball, but here I actually have to like work to get a hop more than I do over, over there. Yeah. I know I can just sort of keep it in front yeah. of me and, you know. Knock it down with a, yeah, with your club and drag it back exactly. to the cage. Exactly. This one I have to actually catch the ball. Or just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Go work, brother. Thank you. So here's what I'm thinking. We, we do some knee stuff first, or like some stationary stuff, and then we do some machine movement stuff. We'll start straight on, and we'll just do second hop, short hop. Second hop, sh short hop. Yep. Good. All right, so second hop, short hop. Good. 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 Dos pounds, corto. Uno mano. Good. Okay, now. Landino will go right here, and we'll go to the second hop, long hop, two-handed, and just suck it in. Nice. Nice. So, like, this is one of my favorite things to do, because, like, when you mark off exactly where the hop is, then you just move yourself around. And, okay. So now we'll go like 
second hop and then like have to reach for it. Good. Good. So like, what did, you, what did you say about glove, like the glove? Leading the way? Yeah, that's really uh That was the cue that made the most sense to you? Makes a lot of sense. Just like, when I think about my glove just being like the first thing down. Everything else follows. Well. Wow. Yeah, just trying to create that little bad hop. Nice. All right, so now we're gonna go that like extreme move, right? So I'm here, I'm gonna swivel open and then have to adjust and go close, right? So I'm here, open and then go. Good. Good. So Tyro, you're here. I see. You make the read like it's gonna be hard, but then you have to go. Nice. And the head is down. Okay, same thing. Opposite now. So I'm here, I read it, and then I got to go. Nice. Yeah. Read, swivel the hips open, close, change directions. Yes. Yes, yes, that's it right there. That's it. Nice. One more. Love that move. Love that move. Good. Good. So on that backhand, on the same play, you're better than the forehand because your head and your glove are always down together. Sometimes on the forehand, like this, right? So is your forehand, if your head is down with your glove, it'll be the same catch rate backhand forehand. Entiende? Okay. So now we're going to go up here. Same one, same move. Here. Boom, boom. Except now what I want to see is our move to throw. So either into a spin or into that sweep and get ready to go because this is that tough one to transition from. So if the ball stands you up, can you fight to get back down, right? Fight to get back, fight to get back, fight to get back. Good. And don't forget, the harder it is, right? Mas duro, mas tempo, you have more time to transition to throw, right? Good, right there. backhand version now I'm here and then I got one of two moves I can make right depending on how the guy runs so I get here and maybe he's fast right I just pick my left foot up and go but if I have time I get there and then I can take one shuffle and throw Good. Good. Come here. Really good, dude. Man. The one I missed, I just a little... A, a touch early. Yeah. But not high with the presentation, like high with the move, right?
the, the reason why we use the machine is it just creates the control. Right? We know exactly where the ball is going to hop and we can approach from all the different angles. It's less work for you guys running around, but you get to complete all the plays. To me, for you guys, you guys are play, who play multiple positions. At those different positions comes the different angles and challenges of hops. Right? So today, he's going to do his work at third. You'll do your work at short, but I still want you to encounter the hops you're going to get when you play the opposite position. Okay, cool. But it's important to do that here in this setting where, where it's lighter workload with the same skills. Yes. Good shot, guys. Thank you. Thank you.